I think I have an idea. Well, I know I have an idea, but I think I have an idea that'll work. Yeah. All right, this thing's tied in position. And it's a little shorter than it used to be, but I think it'll still be wide enough, you know, because I cut the ends off for this piece. Yeah, it should still be all right. The front will have a slightly smaller sail. All right, so I've got it tied real tight, it's just snuggled in there. And that needs to stay right there, and that needs to stay right there. And to make those stay, I've made some things that look kind of like motorcycle exhausts or something. I had to splice a couple pieces together to get this and that. I think they're good. I'll just fiberglass the spliced spot really well. Yeah. All right. Now what do I do about this here hole? Uh, hmm. I should really also put a piece going across there. You know. Well, that's more like it. Now, about this hole in there. I guess it's not that important that I fill it now that I've got that strong thing up there. I need to do something, though, so this doesn't just fill up with rain. Cover it, or... Hmm. Oh, maybe I should make a cap for it and just leave it as a storage spot so I can put a cap on, take it off. Get, hmm. Yeah, no need to make a complicated thing out of this simple problem. thinking three parts yellow one part blue I want kind of like bright green bright color because it'll reflect the sun so it won't absorb much heat and then I'm going to use some blue and yellow for some let me just get a base coat on all right I've got all my pieces laid out ready to yeah do those I think I'm going to use this as my paint tray yeah Hole plugged up. Nice handle. That should be good. Get my roller ready. Vroom. I made a new handle. Because that one, the handle broke off. I'm thinking I paint everything the same color once. And then I can get into the fanciness after that. Yeah. Yeah. It'll dry a little more yellow. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. This is just going to be the background color. Then I'm going to go on over it with blue stuff and yellow stuff. Yeah, I think this is a good... Oh, this yeah, is coming out kind of nice. like it. Looking less like vomit now. It's kind of like mushy peas. Mushy peas it is. Whoa, green. Oh, I like it. 
Green and blue. Nice pieces. Oh, I really want to get the yellow on today. But I've just been informed it's dinner time already. Man, that was all day paint job. Oh, and if I leave it, uh, I'm going to be leaving my hatches open. Hmm. Is it going to rain tonight? Fill the boat with water? I uh, hope not. If I put my hatches on now, they're going to glue down with the paint. Well, if there is some water in there, I'll scoop it out in the morning. Hopefully not much. Then I can get the yellow on there in the morning. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's going to look good with the yellow. At least that's what I think. Oh, and I never reinforced this part up here from bending this way. Because I was thinking, I'm either going to take a cable and attach it back here or back to here. Or bolt a pipe, like a pair of pipes, something like that. But I'm just going to bolt something on. Because sometimes I'm going to want this area totally open. So I want it to be something removable, so I don't have to put it on before I paint it. And once I get it all painted, and that's all dry, I can throw the boat back in the water and start using it again. Because the rest of the stuff, I don't need the boat here to build. Like the sails and all that. Because that I just build, then take to the boat, and attach it to the boat. I wouldn't be able to get the boat out of here with that stuff on it anyway. 